Anytime that you see something that has to do with descriptive, it is going to be asking you to use your five senses. So if you're reading and you have to think about something that you smelled, tasted, felt, heard, or saw, that is a descriptive text. This can go along with other types of um, text structures. For example, if your cause is describing an ice cream melting, but they're using very descriptive words, and then it gives you the effect, that author is using cause and effect and descriptive texture. So some of the clue words that we would hear when we are reading descriptive text are for example, such as, in addition, characters are, characteristics are, adjectives, looks like. And notice that some of these are the same as the other clue words that we've looked at for other text structures. Let's look at our example here. All about sea turtles. A sea turtle shell is made up of bones and plates. The upper shell that we can see on a turtle is known as the carapace. So the author is using um, the sense of sight to describe what the turtle shell looks like. Next, let's see. Sea, shell, sea turtles have webbed feet to help them swim. Again, we're still using sight and thinking about what that looks like in real life, even though we're not looking at it. Sea turtles have webbed feet to keep, oh, I just read that. Their colors are yellow, green, brown, and black. Sea turtles cannot bring their heads back to their shell like land tortoises, for example. So all of this is using our sense of sight to imagine what these things look like, even though we're not actually looking at a sea turtle right in front of us. So when the author is able to describe something like that to you, they are using a descriptive text structure. Let's look at another example. Here we have an image of a coral snake, although with the descriptive text, if that image wasn't there, we would still be able to try and imagine what that snake might look like. So let's read this short paragraph. Coral snakes are distinguished by their red, yellow, white, black colored banding. Most species are small in size. North American species average around three feet in length, but specimens of up to five feet of, or slightly larger have been reported. Sorry about the noise. So here, we can imagine in our mind that these coral snakes are red, white, black, and banding colors, which means it has the stripes going across it. Um, let's look at another example. Soccer is one of the most popular sports in the world. Millions of people play soccer. It is a fairly simple game to learn. Players trying to move the ball down the field and kick it into their, own, into their goal. However, a goalie stands in front of the goal and tries to block any shot that the other team makes. If a team gets the ball in the goal, they score one point. So, with all of that descriptive text, if you had never seen soccer before, that text helps you to imagine the setup of what an actual soccer game looks like. Players need to know the rules. You are not allowed to touch the ball with your hands unless you are the goalie or you are throwing the ball into the field from the sideline. You are also not allowed to tackle other players. The referee watches to make sure each player follows the rules. To play soccer, you need a few items. You need to have a ball, a large area of grass and goals. Many players wear special shoes called cleats. These shoes have points on the bottom and to help the players run without slipping. Many players also wear shin guards. These protect the player's legs from getting kicked. So again, we can imagine what the cleats look like because they describe the cleats. Um, we can imagine what the field looks like, um, how the players look when they're dressed for the game. Um, so all of this descriptive text just helps us to create a mental image as we're reading.